How's it going gamers? My name is Dan. Welcome back to Prison Architect Alpha 12. And uh, on Thursday's episode, I brought you the Alpha 12 update. And we got a whole bunch of stuff done. We got a new workshop installed. We got a new storage facility. I think we got security set up. And well, it was a 40 minute extravaganza of just prison epicness. Now, today's episode is going to be of equal um, importance. Uh, we're gonna try and see how far away we can get to, you know, filling all this space here in the prison. Because there's a little button over here somewhere uh, that I haven't used yet, but I'm interested in, if you know what I'm saying. So before any of that's gonna happen, we need to fill this space, and I have the stuff I want to use to fill it. Now, what we're looking at here, at the moment, is an extra room here, uh, some space here, and some space here. Now, those of you who watched Season 3 know the fact that this was the exact same prison. But in an older layout, uh, I split this and created this as the morgue. Now, after some testing through Alphas 11 and 12, I realized that a morgue wasn't really necessary in the fact that when all my prison riots used to spark, um, if a, prison, if a prisoner was dead for long enough, um, without a morgue, a hearse would just arrive and take the prisoner straight to the hearse, you know, from where they died. Now, and because they haven't really changed it in any regard, I don't really have a need to put that there. But looking at the size of this cleaning cupboard here, I have really thought about it and I'm going to actually... Uh, make this a larger version of a cleaning cupboard. So I've got $12,000, which I plan to make good use of. And I'm just gonna get that sorted. So that's gonna be my, my first job of the day, to get that sorted. Uh, electrical cables running through there, so everything should be all set. I'm gonna dezone the planning area there. And that will look spectacular. Now, looking at my layout, I have 35 prisoners with a maximum uh, holding of 39. Now, knowing that there's four, 20 prisoners that can work here, 20 in there, a total of 40, and plus 6 in the cleaning cupboard, which is about to increase, and 13 in the laundry at a maximum, uh, I'd very much like to uh, get enough prisoners uh, per job in the, in the cells, so... What I'm going to do is I'm going to go rooms. I'm going to zone this up as... It's a cleaning cupboard. There it is. Cool. And if we have a look at deployment jobs, we can see that both the laundry and the cleaning cupboard have a maximum of 13. So that adds up to 26. Basically, I have 66 jobs to fill and 39 prisoners to fill them with. Uno problemo. But that's okay, we can make it work. So up until uh, roughly this area, I'm going to fill this area with prison cells. And I'm not going to do that right away, I'm going to zone this bit up now, just so I know. And if it equates, I'm happy, if it doesn't, I know what's going to happen, don't you worry. Put that there, a few lines there. Very, very cool indeed. Nope, it's too big. That's fine. I know what I want to use this space for. That's completely fine. You'll find out in a few episodes time. But for now, we're just going to check on our prisoners. How is everyone going, by the way? How are you all? Please, please. It's Dan, not Warden. Gosh. Uh, comfort. Food. People are having issues with food. Who's this one guy? Or these, you know, two people? What the hell? Are you... Andy Dufresne's been released. Farewell, sir. I hope you escape my prison next time in Alpha 13. Till then, get a haircut, you hippie. Good. Well, alright. Now, I just got reminded by myself of the intention to change visitation around, at least orientation. Now, this was going to be a office for the 
lawyers, which have not been implemented in Alpha 12, and I don't see them being on my radar for Alpha 13 at this point. So, I'm going to demolish that, and I'm going to put this here as well. Uh, let's, let's do it that, and that'll be fine. Also want to dismantle that, dismantle that, dismantle that. Now I wonder how this is going to work, because I've never actually torn down a, a room to make it exterior again. It has this weird mechanic in it. Dismantle two of the visita visitor tables. And I'll leave the third one for now. Now with any luck, these two will connect and knock out these walls. Which is what I want. And uh, I'm going to need an, a way to get into these rooms now. Which is going to be over here, is it not? It's going to be... Let's make it there. Why not? Don't know why that's a staff door. I need it to not be a staff door. You know what? Because they do like staff doors, you know, visitors, at this point, it will say a staff door. Just made a decision right there and then. Happy with it. Alright. That's good. Now the laundry is... Not even enough jobs for everyone to to work on. It's not something I've looked at really, but you know I should. Doesn't make me any money, but it keeps my prisoners happy. Clothing, well, everyone is happy. I'll make it look better in the future, but for now it's fine. It's not gonna kill me. You know it is gonna kill me. I don't have an answer to that question. So let's have a look at the cells. The cells are looking good here in the holding cell that I rotated last episode. I remember that. Uh, I'm sort of playing by ear today. I don't have a plan, really. Now, someone in the comments mentioned that over here is Ooh, Wilhelm. Oh, mate. I'll call you back in. I promise. So over here, I was going. I had a plan to put in a secondary laundry section. Now, one of you in the comments mentioned that the laundry has issues when there's two of them. Now the same thing happened, used to happen with workshops in that prisoners from different workshops would keep coming in and, you know, nicking license plates from each other, make it look like they did more work than the other. I'm pretty sure they still do that, but I figured I'd do it anyway. But uh, that's why there's 18 workbenches and 20 jobs, because two of them can do that. It's fine, I don't care. Um... Yeah, so basically I'm not sure how it's going to work out. And ultimately, I can just put a secondary cleaning cupboard in there. The secondary laundry doesn't bother me. That was really just a, an idea I had. So I'm going to roll with that. So without further delay... Sedestrum, gosh. What have you done? What did you do? Just go on a solitary. That's what you did. What for? What'd you do? What'd you do? Misconduct, fighting guards, destruction and injured staff. Now, let's have a look. Shower. How many shower heads do I have? Two, four, six, seven. I've never seen all my prisoners use them at once, but I there are two to one in shower head the uh, shower prisoners and shower heads. Got there in the end. Oh, lots of money. I work hard for the money. So hard for the money. Ew, these areas looking filthy. Do I still have staff sectors active? Staff zones. Um, yes. So I expect a lot of released prisoners to flood in at this point and just leave. Where's Angle? I know you've been released. He was meant to be released an hour ago. He's probably sleeping. Hey, there's me. Oh man, dat handlebar. Dat handlebar. Anyway. Uh, yay, this is done. So we are going to go brick wall. I'm going to do that. And when that's done, I'm going to put a new door in. I shall do it now. Why not? So I'll take some makeshift into Wilhelm Engel. Get out of my prison. Where are you? Oh, you're asleep. Alright. We'll search your cell, then you can go. How's that sound? Does that sound fair? I think that sounds fair. That'll wake him up. Hey, you're free. Get up. Oh, my gardener survived. 
I thought he died long ago. Ah, the things you learn. Well, that would have woken him up. He's suppressed, so... Oh, he's in... Oh, you idiot. Okay, where'd it come from? Yes, I learned how to use this interface. He stole it from the cleaning cupboard. He took it into there, into the canteen, then took it back to his cell where he got poached. Now you were released long ago, and now you have to wait 80 minutes. You fool, Angle. You fool. That's okay. Um, seems most of these guys made it out okay. Now what are you doing? Tom Cadwell is shaking on the toilet. So he is working out a monster right now. Good on you, mate. Good on you. Now, these cells are... I'm feeling like they're a bit dodgy, so... And my guard count is abysmal. So, I'm gonna just go boom, 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 boom. I'm going to deploy a few of you around. Why are all the guards not doing this stuff? Fine, I'll just get one. And you're gonna patrol here, because that's your thing. Right? Awesome. Now, over here, this is looking like a weird puzzle of some sort. Now, that's gonna go... No, that's not gonna work. It probably does, but I'm gonna put the walls in first. Then demolish. I can demolish this wall. That's fine. I can dismantle the door. Dismantle stuff door. Dismantle office desk. Alright, just take all the interior stuff out. I can dezone that as well. I mean, yeah... It was visitation. Not anymore. That's no longer going to be visitation. That's no longer an office. It's no longer applicable. Uh, visitation is going to be this area right here. And this right here is going to be an office. Where is office? Cool. You know what? I may one day turn this into a giant indoor prison just by putting a whole bunch of corridors. That'll probably be the thing I do bef right before Alpha 13. Something silly. I know. Well, uh, let me guys know in the comments, actually. If you'd like to see it more like a indoor prison or like an outdoor prison, it's up to you. Separate rooms has always been a, a working thing for me. I used to do, you know, prisons like this, but, like, the whole thing was a prison. And uh, it worked out okay. It wasn't perfect, but, you know, it was good fun. So, yeah, let me know. Thoughts on whether it should be an indoor prison or an outdoor prison. So, do that... And do that. Now what, what am I doing? Cancel that. Dismantle this. Change my mind. I do that a lot. Now you're going to be three, three, and three. You want to? Oh, you can't even rotate it the other way. Gosh darn it! No, you can't sit there. Get out. Move! Oh, it's Duncan's family. Oh, hello, Duncan's family. Now get out. Office. Requires office-related stuff. Now, that's good. I can get it back to my old pattern where I had six offices that I never had that pattern. But, yeah. Hi. What's up? Uh, what am I after? A desk and a filing cabinet. I'm gonna make sure they're all rotating the right way. Keyboard's facing the chair. I don't like it that the desk's in the middle. The, like, the computer is in the middle, but the chair has to sit over to the left or right. Bugs me slightly, not gonna lie. And filing cabinet is gonna face all sorts, that'll do. No, that looks good, that looks good. Now, uh, just one more thing as well. I'm gonna do this. And I'm gonna do... You know what, I really don't know what I'm doing at this point. I'm sort of guessing as I go. And you know what? I'm going to add concrete walls here instead. Just because... I don't know. I don't trust them. I'll turn it all into concrete. That's a plan. That's an idea. Now your mind's working, Dan. So, we know that all of the visitors are essentially pretending to be staff. Anyone who isn't prisoner is technically staff at this point. So they're coming through the staff doors and they're going to go into visitation via these staff doors. Which leaves this area here for me to, you know, check they're not carrying anything they shouldn't. And I think that's a good idea. So we're going to have... Jail door there. 
and a jail door there. And this is going to be my security checkpoint. Don't know what I'll call it. Just for lols. I'll put in a security section. Doesn't bother me that it's 4x4. I'll get over it one day. And now that that's done, I need to go back to deployment. That's the bureaucracy. That's a totally different thing. Now you're still in there? Cool. Now you're in there. Shit. There we go. So you're going to stay in there and just wander. Wander about your daily business. As you can see, it's pretty standard. I should probably make it a little bit thinner, in fact. I will do that. Because if the the guard has to travel less, then better it is. I'll make it 2x2-ish. Two two because I'm going to have, uh, what are they called? Those scanners that don't like me? Those things? That's what I'm going to have. Where are they? Metal detectors. Those are the ones. Where are they? Here they are. I'm going to go one. I do. Right in the middle. Wait, wait. Bring me that box with the door. I want it. Ugh. Okay. You know what? I'll roll with it. That guard walked away. You bugger. And I'm actually going to try and connect it. I don't even have... I always wanted to have a secondary power unit, which would run all my security related stuff. Which I may do when I work on a secondary section here. But I'm not ready for that yet. So, uh, I'll do a really cheap wiring to the old, old system. I'll convert it into a cool looking power system one day. It won't be cool looking, but it will be, you know, won't even be efficient. It will just work. I'd rather have different, you know, power stations for different stuff than have everything running on the one. Which looks like it's about to overheat. Uh, speaking of which, I'm going to need some capacitors. Apparently, you can only link 12. Apparently. It may be a myth, but I'm about to go for 13, so we'll see how we go. And if it does only go to 12, well, shit. We're about to test it, and we're about to find out. If it does, what I may do is put power through to the warden's office through the accountant's office, through the visitation, and have this run through the exterior where it goes through all the mail text, whatever. It'll take a bit of time. You are in a staff only zone. What are you doing? It's not staff only. It is now. Get out. Leave. Now I'm going to mark this as bulldoze just because you're not technically an indoor area anymore. Does that make sense? So we're going to give it a go. You get your but back in there. You know what? Prisoners need a way to get in themselves. Uh, put it there. Why not? Didn't think of that. Oh, there we go. That looks better. If I go deployment. There we go. Oh, yeah. Cool. You can deploy guards to walk around the exterior walls. That's, that's pretty cool. I like that. I like that lot. Uh, deployment. Jobs. They're not jobs. Guards. What are you thinking, Dan? What are you thinking? Now that's staff only. That's staff only. Now that still thinks it's... Oh, right. Right. It goes all the way around. Of course. I need that. Uh... Yeah. Okie doke. What's going on? $9,000. It's 8pm, so I'm about to get even more money. And looking at these... License plate stacks. I ain't even mad. So I might even make a move towards getting some more work done. Yeah, why not? So I need four tables. One, two, three, four. Kill. Cool. You know what? I feel like splurging out a little bit. I'm going to get you guys some extra you know, sitting area. Would you like that? Is that what you want? Yeah, yeah, that's what you want. Deal with it. Now, uh, I'll give him some areas. You know what? How much are chairs? $30 versus $120 per $30, you know? Okay. People have said that their comfort levels will be increased if you give them, you know, proper chairs. 
I don't have an issue with giving them proper chairs. They've been pretty good prisoners for a while. You know, we had a rough start for the first, you know, 27 or 28 episodes of Prison Architect. But they've been good lately. So I think I'll play it a bit calm. Let's check valuation. Zero escapes. We've only had one murder. And we've gone 446 hours without incident. That doesn't even seem correct. But, you know, I'm happy to give them benefit of the doubt. Just because. So that's what every area is going to look like. I have to dismantle benches. Give them some chairs. There are a lot of chairs in storage right now. Take down that. Take out that. I take out that. And... Gone. The cleaning cupboard looks good. This guy has some plenty of room to move. Why couldn't you move that there, though? Oh. Hey, Payday! Payday 2 comes out soon. Looking forward to that. Objects. Now, I put power in, didn't I? I did. Hmm. Okay. Uh, the myth about capacitors, if they're all on. Hang on. They're all on. If I do it off. Switch it on. Switch it off. Okay, let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 13. The myth about the 12 capacitors is false. Busted. No, it seems to be perfectly fine to put more than 12 capacitors to a prison cell. Not a prison cell, a power station. That's the one. Now this yard looks abysmal. I've used that word a lot today. I have fixed the yard in previous episodes, but that was season three, and this is season four, which means it looks like shit. So I'm going to fix it. What are we looking for? We're looking at probably a road? Why am I using paving stone on the exterior? I don't know. So that can look good. No, wait, I remember. It's going to be that. No, if, if you decide to go over that area as well, why not? This was grass. Okay. I'm trying to remember, or at least picture what would look good. That'll look good. That's more like that. That's not bad. Are we happy with five phones? Let's try and get one per eight prisoners. Let's make it ten. Eight. That, that'll... Long story short, it's fine. You know, get what I'm saying? It's fine. Do that. Paving stones. Alright. From what you and I can see, bunch of squares. From what the architects can see, pretty freaking amazing. Surprisingly, for a game called Prison Architect, you are the only architect. There is no architect in this. Hmm. The things you know. I'm going to put more chairs in, otherwise this is going to become like... I don't know. I was looking for a joke, couldn't find one. Maybe next time. Sweet. I uh, still haven't installed all the things. Still haven't taken out all the things. Oh boy. One hour of shower time. Oh boy. Nah, to be fair, there hasn't been any issues. Have we found any new... No, narcotics. And weapons are being supplied, but they only want luxuries. I mean, it's a prison architect. These guys are loving what they do. Is there someone caught somewhere? Chris Mortensen has five hours. Now, he's that guy, isn't he? Where are you, Mortensen? I know you're there. There he is. Yeah, that's the guy. Now, it seems more often than not. Yeah, see, that, that guy should not be searched. Status effect, good food. Good on him. No, I wish these understood and made sense. I wish I made sense just now. But, um, yeah, it seems that uh, the metal detectors go off randomly as well. Someone told me that in one of the comments that I just saw. But, um, yeah, I don't know. It just, the, the game likes to pretend they've got stuff more often than they actually have something. So prisons get searched and mad. And, you know, I am pretty much unable to control it. Now, what are you guys building? Constructing? Oh, you're going to the... Cool. So, 
full storage is a happy storage. And, you know, busy storage is a happy Dan. Dan Rossa. Uh, hello. How are you, my friend? Now, Dan, I've never met you in real life, but leave a comment. Let me know if this is an accurate depiction of your character. Same applies for Engel, who's actually already left the prison. Uh, rewind the video, or possibly even the episode beforehand. Leave a comment, Engel. Let me know. The things you know. 